super excited to share with you guys this holiday meal from Omaha Steaks. So when I was in Omaha, I got to try out their ham, their turkey, all their sides, and they were phenomenal. Like, I kept saying, like, but, but this can't be Omaha Steaks. Like, wait, is this Omaha Steaks too? Everything I tried, Omaha Steaks. Everything I tried, amazing. But get this, like the thing that I love the most is you can order this meal now. You're gonna save a ton of money because right now it's like 40% off, 35% off, something like that. It serves eight to 10 people. It comes frozen to your door, pop it in the freezer. And then all you do is you defrost the ham in the refrigerator for like 24, 48 hours. Put this in the, in the oven for 60 to 70 minutes, done. These are the Brussels sprouts with bacon. They're so good. And they cook in the oven in 45 minutes. There's garlic mashed potatoes that I'm gonna cook too. Those go in the microwave. And to top it off, you cannot miss dessert. So caramel apple tartlets are amazing. I've been eating these since I was a kid and they are so yummy. Anyone who's ever tried them is a huge fan. And I like to serve them with just um, some vanilla bean ice cream and caramel sauce. So by, I'm gonna show you guys how you can whip this entire thing up in like an hour and a half. That way the rest of Thanksgiving, like the whole day, you can spend with your family. You can be present with your kids. You can really soak it up. Take all those fan, fun family photos. You can actually get yourself ready and feel good, right? Um, so yeah, let's get started. One, two, three, do it. Hey guys, so um, Ella loves to help me in the kitchen. Around Thanksgiving and Christmas for us, it usually gets a little bit stressful. Mom's nerves are a little on edge because there's so much cooking to do and there's like, complicated things and so she doesn't get to help out as much. So this year we're really looking forward to using Omaha steaks because it's super easy. Even Ella can do it all on her own. So both the mashed potatoes and the Brussels sprouts can either be microwaved or they can go in the oven. Um, Ella's gonna be showing you the microwave option for the mashed potatoes and I'm gonna be showing you the oven option for the Brussels sprouts. Hey guys, so um, we just finished up with the mashed potatoes and I thought we would show you, because Ella and I, of course, we need to make it our own just a little bit, right? Make it look fancy, look nice. So um, we've got the mashed potatoes here. We're gonna place them in to our pan here. Um, that way we can keep them warm in this dish and they'll look extra pretty and like we cook them from home since there is seriously a chef that cooked these. So like, they're gonna be fantastic. Um, so you can work on doing that. I was chopping um, the cucumber. I'm gonna add some avocado. I bought just like a pre-done salad mix at the store. Um, that way we have a nice salad to go with it. We've got um, our pats of butter over there. I'm gonna heat up some rolls. Um, yeah, and then we're just waiting on the Brussels sprouts and the uh, ham in there. I don't know if you guys can see it, but it's, it looks so it's good. It's so guys. good. It's beautiful. So, yeah. Okay. yeah you can get started it. working on your mashed potatoes. I'll put them in the dish. I wanted you guys to check out this ham. It's gorgeous. Okay, so Ella thought because we have all this extra time, mm -hmm. we should chat. So what did you want to chat about? Um, maybe what's our favorite food that we got? Ooh, okay. Um, so I've tried pretty much all of this. It's all fantastic. You've been hearing me talk all yeah. about it. Pretty much talked her ear off because she was actually in Omaha with me. Um, and she wasn't at all of the influencer stuff that I was going to for the ambassadorship. So I would come home every night and be like, oh my gosh, and I tried this and then this was delicious. So hmm, I'm going to say this, the honey ham, like I have been, my family's eaten ham. As you know, we eat ham, like all of the holiday meals, it's always a honey ham. Um, it costs a lot of money. Uncle Craig usually brings it. Um, so I'm really excited that I'm making it, that it's super easy, and that for like the same price or probably less, I got like a whole meal. So, yeah. My favorite part, well, the honey ham looks so good. Like we just checked it on it in the oven, and it just looks so good. I like, I don't know, it looks so good. But my favorite part is this garlic mashed potatoes because I love mashed potatoes. Like, if there's a side of mashed potatoes, I'll get it on anything. And especially since it's Omaha steaks, I'm excited. Okay, it's gonna be delicious. Now, because we're talking about Thanksgiving, you also wanted to talk about what we're grateful for, right? Hope you gotta ignore the puppies. We have all the families in the backyard right now. We them out of the kitchen. Hey, Paris. It's okay. All right, so you want to talk about what um, what you're grateful for, right? Yep. Okay, so do you have something? Yep. I'm grateful for Paris, and then I'm also grateful that we have like this food because this is just super fun that I get to spend time with my mom cooking in the kitchen. 
Awesome, very cool. Um, I think I am so grateful for um, all these crazy opportunities that have come our way this year for our family. Um, the fact that uh, I got to do something that I really loved and it turned into a business and it supports my family and it provides me with super fun things that we get to make these videos for you guys and share things that we like truly love with you. Um, it's just the best job and I, I can't get over it every day. Like I'm just like, I'm so grateful that I get to do this. So thank you guys for that. And then the last question is, what's our favorite part about Omaha State? Oh my gosh, it's gotta be. So I've had family businesses. My husband's from um, a long line of, of entrepreneurs. And so from the time I was, you know, 19, 20 years old, we started our own company. Um, my husband and I, we owned several businesses together. So the fact that Omaha Steaks is still family owned and I met the owners, um, their cousins, they're hilarious. Um, they care deeply, they are passionate about safety um, of the food. They're super passionate about quality of the food. And so I was just really inspired to be um, around such an awesome company that really truly cared about their employees and um, and the quality of the food and you, their customers. And I absolutely... Hey Liv, you wanna come say hi to everybody? No, no, no. Okay, she's trying to scare people with all of these decorations. And then my absolute favorite part um, about Omaha Steaks is just how good the food is. It's delicious. <laughs> It's kind of getting chaotic. Looks like we better head back out yeah. to the family, right? Yeah. So we will, um, we, we're kind of garnishing things with some fresh parsley just to make it look pretty. Um, that way it looks, yeah, make it our own a little bit. So I think we'll do that and then head out. And it looks like we've got 17 minutes and dinner's done. Easiest yeah. dinner ever. Okay, Cam, so clearly your mom is obsessed with Omaha Steaks. Uh -huh. I want to know, how was the ham tonight? The ham was amazing. And what else? What about the mashed potatoes? What was your verdict? The mashed potatoes, I don't know. Ham or mashed potatoes? I think I'm still going to lean towards the ham, but the mashed potatoes was absolutely amazing. Awesome. And what else have you liked that we've gotten from Omaha Steaks? Oh, the steak for sure, especially bacon wrapped steak. Mm -hmm. That's your thing. Awesome. Is this, the, is this the coma after we ate all the delicious food? Are we in the food coma stage? Yep. All the food was so yummy, you ate way too much. Yep. <laughs> See, look, he's going crazy after eating it. <laughs>